Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Joe, and I am a weapon of mass instruction. And I'm sorry for the really crazy uh, Batman-esque camera angle. If anybody's seen the original series, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, I'm in a rental right now, so I don't have my uh, phone mount or any of that happy stuff. Anyway, I'm going to try to keep this a little bit short and sweet. As you can see, I'm still alive, still kicking. Today is Monday, July 30th, 2012, and it is about about 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm about to find some chow. And I've been open carrying since the 20th, so we're on uh, 10, 11 days now. Uh, so 10 days, open carrying. I draw... A couple of funny looks from people. For the most part, people don't say a word. Uh, I've had, I think, three people now ask me if I was a cop. And for the most part, when I say, nope, I'm just a guy who loves his Second Amendment rights, uh, they, they're like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, I had one guy today I was talking to for a bit. He is wide awake. Wide awake. Uh, to a lot of the stuff that's going on. And uh, <clears throat> he pointed some things out to me, which I might cover... Uh, in future episodes, um, so hopefully, because that's some stuff that I, I've been looking and looking at all these different topics, and I just, you know, you learn something new every day, but it, I was really happy to find anybody, again, in my in my home area who's wide awake, who knows what's going on, to st at least some extent, who's prepping for it, you know, and is not afraid to voice their opinion, uh, and that's good stuff. Uh, he thought it was a little bit crazy that I'm voicing my opinion on YouTube. He's like, that's the one thing I won't do. I was like, you know what? Um, I want to get that message out, and it's also an insurance policy to some extent. If nothing else, I can be the canary in the freaking mine shaft. You know what I mean? If, uh, if I stop broadcasting, and you guys already know this for the most part, but if I stop broadcasting for more than a week with no explanation given then you know something happened to me, and you know that, you know, shit's about to hit the fan if it hasn't already at that point, so that's that, open carry again, uh, freaking working out pretty good, pretty well, uh, weller than I expected, <laughs> and, uh, you know, like I said, it, it, it does open people's eyes a little bit, uh, at least to the fact that they're you know, that there are people out there who do believe in their rights. There are people who disagree with the liberal bullshit. And I'm not, like, conservative saying liberal bullshit. I think both sides of the fence are freaking just acting retarded. If you're not willing to negotiate and compromise on things that you can compromise about, but at the same time, you know, refuse to give ground on the things that should not be compromised about, you know, that's, that's what I'm talking about there. Oh, yesterday... Yesterday, I was at Dunkin' Donuts, hanging out, doing my thing. When I was up there making my order, um, there was this family of people from New York. I could tell because they all had the New... Uh, I can't do a New York accent anymore. You know what I mean. They had the Brooklyn accent going on. They're all talking about freaking shit going on in New York. And they're all wearing freaking Yankees paraphernalia. Which pissed me off. I'm like, yeah, seriously? Like, they should be charging you for wearing their logo. Or they, they, or they should be paying you for, for wearing their logo. Anyway. And of course, if anybody's watching this who lives in New York City especially, or New York State in general, uh, the carry laws there are kind of ridiculous. So, you know, you never see somebody carrying unless he's a cop or he's a criminal. Um, but here I am in the boondocks as far as these guys are concerned, and they think I'm either a cop or a criminal, and I'm definitely not acting like a cop, uh, even though I got the haircut that kind of, you know, people might see me as a cop, um, I'm not, I'm not trying to impersonate a cop at all, nothing on me at all says anything like, hey, this guy's a cop, other than the fact that I'm wearing a gun, but if anybody knows anything about guns, most cops are going to wear a Glock, um, I say most in this area, to some extent, some of them a lot, uh, some of them uh, pick SIGs, whatever. Most of them do pick uh, Glocks. But anyway, so I'm making my order, and I glance back, and like everybody in this family, they're talking among themselves, but they're all staring at me. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. I'm putting on a show. 
Nobody else in the place, like, I, I've been going there just about every day to get their Wi-Fi and drink their coffee, and nobody who works there has any problem with it. Not a single one of them has said anything about it because they know the law around here, you know? And they probably had their, more than their, their fair share of cops to come in, and they might have even assumed that I was one, and it doesn't even matter. Nobody who worked there questioned it. Nobody who worked there said anything like, hey, you're scaring the customers, put that in your car, or anything like that. Um, but this family from New York is like, you know, all looking at me like I'm about to freaking pop off rounds or something. So a couple minutes go by, they all got done with their, uh, their food and their drinks and whatever, and they're outside, and I decided I wanted to go out for a cigarette. And I do that about every hour or so while I'm there. So I'm outside, I'm smoking a cigarette, and I'm like, just, I'm looking everywhere, keeping my head on a swivel, just like always, and there they are, they're, they're about 10 feet away, and they're all looking at me, and this one guy, he's like, you know, taller than everybody else, he's like, giving me a look, like, I dare you to do something, and, <laughs> where do you get off, like, I'm just some guy, it doesn't even matter that I got, gun, got a gun on my hip, it doesn't matter, you know, like the fact that I'm open carrying just tells you that I'm, you know, more willing than some to put it out there and say, hey, this is what I believe in. You know what I mean? Um, so he's staring at me. I glance over, you know, I'm looking around some more, smoking my cigarette. I glance over again and he's still looking and everybody else is trying to leave and he's just staring at me. I said, hey, dude, this is not illegal. I am totally following the law. And if you live here too, then you can do this as well. And his eyes go wide and his reaction is, are you threatening me? I said, no, I'm, this is just a statement of fact. I know you're eyeballing my gun. I know you're probably feeling pr pretty paranoid about me carrying, but there's nothing wrong with that here. You know, welcome to the wild west. <laughs> and it was just ridiculous. I'm finishing up my cigarette. I'm putting out the butt and I'm about to walk inside and like, you know, people are putting their hands on his shoulder and they're all like, you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't, don't, don't pick a fight. He's got a gun. Seriously. People are just fucking ridiculous sometimes. Ridiculous. Nine times out of 10, I either get no response, nothing at all. Maybe a funny look. People are on the lookout. That's fine. Awesome. You know? Fact is, hypothetical situation, if I was some asshole trying to freaking go for a killing spree, I would not pick a Dunkin' Donuts. That would be a stupid spot to start a killing spree because you got at most 15 people there. The, the movie theater, from the standpoint of, okay, here's my objective, I'm going for max amount of kills and casualties, excellent objective. Packed full opening day. All right? And this is me talking from an objective point of view, okay? From his standpoint, his perspective, he's on a mission, excellent objective. Dunkin' Donuts, not so excellent objective. <laughs> you know? And furthermore, even if, I, even if that was me, even if I was that guy, you know, in this hypothetical situation that was going to freaking start popping off shots and trying to get kills, would I really be hanging out with my gun in a holster or would I bust in as fast as fucking possible with my gun out and drawn and probably the rest of my guns on me as well so I could keep on going? Like, people got to start using their fucking heads and exercising their fucking rights. If those guys who are from New York uh, do live in Pennsylvania, I, I hope that at least some of them got the idea in their heads, well, wow, everybody here is allowed to carry as long as they obey the laws. Um, so maybe I should too. That way, if something happens to me, I'm not at a disadvantage. And that's fine. And it's not about, you know, Cold War style freaking who's got the bigger and better gun. It's just, it's the rights that we were born with. Inalienable rights. That means shall not be infringed. The amendments to the Constitution, past the Tenth Amendment, should exist to clarify gray areas. You know, I, I would understand completely 
if they actually passed a, an amendment that says specifically, like, you know, um, you know, these are what, this is what constitutes as, uh, uh, an arm as far as bearing arms, you know, pistol, rifle, shotgun, um, machine gun, anything that's man portable and not crew served. Uh, and if they said, okay, well, RPGs and rocket launchers are not arms for this, for the purposes of this, uh, of your, of your constitutional rights, I'd be okay with that. Because if the shit hit the fan and it was a situation where I had to take down an airplane, good chance that the law wouldn't mean much anyway and it would be survival for our, nothing more than our lives for that next day. Um, and at that point, I'd have to find and acquire uh, something to take that, that take out that airplane anyway, if that was the case. But you know what? A as long as we do still have a semblance of society, I have no problem with them clarifying exactly what an arm is as long as it doesn't impinge upon freaking what is legally our right. You know what I mean? Um, and, and if anything, expanding on what is our right and, and who is considered to be under those rights, uh, to hold those rights, you know, because if you look at the amendments, it started out as only, you know, um, grown men, white, and that was it. <laughs> You know, women weren't considered to have those rights, and, you know, minorities. I'm just going to say, at the time, black people weren't considered to have those rights. Irish people didn't have those rights. You know, they weren't considered white enough. <laughs> you know, but the, the laws got expanded and, and clarified, and that's fine. But I, I, I read this today on uh, Facebook. This is an awesome analogy. Um, gun control is like trying to stop drunk drivers by making it harder for sober people to own a car. Boom. There you go. I'm going to leave you with that because I'm hungry. And I need food. I'm going to hunt me some Chinese food. Mm. <laughs> Y'all stay safe now. Peace. Did it go?